and start recording. Howdy, howdy, you guys. So, I'm so excited about this call tonight um, because it's a topic that is close to my heart, um, but also this January is going to be my seventh January in direct sales. So I've seen a few Januaries before in my past. Um, so I'm really, <laughs> you're evil, getting kids to, she always says that, I don't believe her. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've seen a few uh, Januaries in, in my past and I thought I'd share with you um, the way that I kind of approach January and and what you guys can do to really set yourselves up for a beautiful, amazing January. So before we get in, <laughs> Kim's written in the comments, runs to get clothes on. <laughs> I told you guys. <laughs> um, before we get study, stuck into the nitty gritty of today's call, um, I know, and I know because I've experienced it myself, when um, we talk about summer holidays, a lot of stuff can come up for us that is just like, oh, but what do you mean working in the summer holidays? Like I did this so I could spend time with my kids and it seems like counterproductive and counterintuitive to be then having them at home and then I'm, I'm working as well. Um, so this is true for, for mums, but if you don't have family yet, the chances are you probably do this business because you love the flexibility to be able to arrange it around things that you that you love. Um, so sometimes what can come up is a whole bunch of guilt around working in the holidays. You know, if I am working, my family's missing out, my kids are missing out on me, or um, if you are working, FOMO of missing out on, you know, the social activities that can come over the summer holidays as well. And you can kind of feel torn in, in two directions as to where to go. So I just want to, you know, show of hands or write in the chat box, is any of that sort of coming up for you guys as we're talking about, you know, putting, getting classes booked in for January, for December, after Christmas? Is that something, am I on the money here? Is that an experience ever in the past or something? You might be brand new. This might be your very first January. Yes, so a few people are raising their hands. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So um, I guess my biggest question is why does it have to be one or the other? And I really want to just go and let you guys know that it doesn't have to be one or the other. You don't have to choose time with your family or work on your business because newsflash, this is flexible. <laughs> You know, it's not a business that you do nine to five if you don't want to, which is awesome. So you actually have the power, you have the reins, you're behind the steering wheel. So you get to choose when and how you work this. So um, for me, when I've worked in, in the school holiday period and over summer, um, it always looks differently to how I work during school term. So I'm a mum, I've got three three children who are in school. Um, and for me, it can feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it's just rejigging how you work and, and being a little bit more creative in how you work, which we're, we're gonna flesh out a little bit more in a moment. But before that, I wanted to chat about the importance of working January. Uh. Um, because if you treat your business like a business, you'll get paid like a business. If you treat your business like a hobby, you'll get paid like a hobby. So with that in mind, I want you to think about how many times you've walked down the street and you've walked past a shop front and then there's been a sign on the door that just says closed for summer holidays. Or you've, like, has anyone ever experienced that? <laughs> because I definitely haven't ever seen a shop do that. And then the other, the other question is, have you ever had a shop, like occasionally a shop will say closed, you know, on these days or 
family holiday from here to here. Like I'm from a country town, so sometimes we get that a little bit. But it's never, ever for six weeks because they treat their business like a business. And because they do that, they, they build this customer rapport, they build um, loyalty with their customers because they're there for their customers. So this ties back to treating a business like a business. Um, so in saying that, I think it's really important that when we do treat our business like a business, that we prepare and we plan and we have a vision for what that is gonna look like. Now, please don't get me wrong when I'm here saying um, you can, spend time with family and work at the same time um, and think that I'm saying that you have to work your ass off in January and over the summer period because that is not what I'm saying at all. You just have to be savvy about it. You have to work it and plan it. So planning is a big thing. So have a think about when, if you were a shop front, when are you gonna close your doors? Is it before Christmas, after Christmas? And then when do you open up your doors again? Have you got a date in mind? So you've got this, this period of time where you're actually taking time off. Because if you're really unclear about it, it's going to make for a really, really tricky start to January and to kick off your year really, really well. Um, <coughs> So um, I guess I want to share with you a little bit about what January looks like and has looked like for me over the past few years. Um, January is hands down my favourite time of the year for classes, without a doubt. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is. I, I love summer and don't get me wrong, like I love the beach. I will, I will take any opportunity to be down at the beach, sun on my face, sand between my toes, hanging out with my fam. Um, but January is one of my favourite, favourite times to have classes because Christmas is done and dusted. So the stress, the build up, the anticipation where everyone's just like, it practically has this mentality like the world will end come the 26th of, of December, like they can't see beyond <laughs> Christmas Day. Um, so all of that pre-Christmas and the lead up to Christmas stress has gone. Then you come into January and it's just like so, so cruisy. People are on holidays. It's such a social time of the year. So people are really keen to catch up with one another. They're really, really keen to just hang out and chill. The vibe is so much more relaxed, which is why I love doing classes in January because they're so, like, awesome. Like, it's just such a social get-together and catch up with family and friends. Um, so the other thing with January too is... Um, sometimes when I've chatted to people about hosting classes in January, they, they'll say something like, oh, I can't because I've got family that's come across from Adelaide and they're staying with us. Now you've got two options at that point. You can say, oh, bummer, okay, well, shall we do a class in February? Or you could say, fantastic. <laughs> How exciting that we could do this class while Auntie Claire's in town and we can have a bit of a, you know, a class with your family and friends with the people that you love most. So it's about spinning it around and helping them see the value that this is a really, actually a really unique opportunity that you get to have this class with people that wouldn't drive <laughs> interstate or you know a few hours to to come to your class but we can schedule it at a time that you're you're both in the same place at the same time how awesome is that um the other thing that we can do is doing themed classes so january is a beautiful time because there's so much going on so in the new year we do lots of like summer classes. So you could do like a, you know, oils for camping. Now <laughs> keep in mind, don't go off track and go rogue. But like um, when I'm talking about 
doing classes, thin classes, I always still talk about the Home Essentials Kit. I just really highlight the different oils that can be used for the different themes that I'm talking about. So if I do a kids class, I'm still going to talk about the Home Essentials Kit just with a focus on how they benefit children. If I'm doing a camping class, I'll do a class on the Home Essentials Kit or the Nature Solution Kit and talk about how those oils can be used for camping and, and holidaying and travelling. So you're still really giving them the best start forward and the best information when it comes to, um, you know, giving them some oily advice and some oil use. Um, the other thing that's really, really big, and we are so blessed, like doTERRA is just amazing, hey? So we're in the health and wellness industry. And what do you think is the number one focus come January 1? Health and wellness, weight loss, better self-care. You know, it's such a reflective time of the year when people reevaluate what worked for them and, and how they want to improve their life this year. And how many ways do we have that we can offer them on how they, they can support themselves and, and be feeling healthier and happier with these beautiful essential oils? Like we have this beautiful gift that we can share with them. Why wouldn't we want to be out there empowering people and educating people on how to use these beautiful gifts? So um, there's nothing better than, than having a class or having a one-on-one -on -one with someone who's just really ready to make some changes in their life, yeah? We all had those moments where someone's just like, yes, I'm ready, let's do this. January is full of those people. You just have to promote it. You just have to put it out there and those people are waiting for you. They're actually waiting for you. They're actually waiting for someone to guide them through this. And if you sit there just going, oh, everyone's too busy in January or I just want to just spend all of the time with my family, then they will find the answers, but chances are they'll find it from some, somewhere else or someone else and you've missed it, a really beautiful opportunity to be of service to people and really gift them the gift of health in Jan. Um, you know, some other class ideas are, you know, some, you know, beach-themed <laughs> classes, you know, sunburn, all of that sort of stuff, and surviving the school holidays. So as I said before, I'm a mama. So I love the school holidays, but it reaches a point in the school holiday period where I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for some time away from the kids. I'm ready for some time to sit down with some girlfriends and catch up because it can be tiring, you know, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. <laughs> and I'm starting to pull my hair out a little. I just need some time for me. So, um, talking to people about how you can get together with the girlfriends. Let's have, you know, an afternoon on the deck. We sip some wine. We talk about how we want to make 2019 the best year yet and how the oils can help you to do that. Um, and then as we get towards the end of January, I guess some other themes for classes, again, still basing it on the nature solution, the natural solutions class is to, um, you know, the back to school protocol. So what people need um, as they, their kids go back to school and get ready for that time again. Um, so we, we do, we have this beautiful gift that we can give them. Um, we just need to make sure that we're, I guess, offering it and that they know that they can have that. So planning is key. Planning is really, really important. Um, so the thing that we can do is book in holidays and family time. Now, try to avoid being really wishy-washy um, with your time, just like, oh, yeah, we will go away at some point. I'm just not sure when. Actually get your diaries out. Sit down with your husband, your partner, your kids and map it out, plan it out. Well, we could go away this weekend. Okay, how's this going to work? How's this going to flow? And look at how you can incorporate it in so that your family doesn't have to sacri be sacrificed in you just doing the business and, and work, work, work. And your business doesn't have to be sacrificed either by 
lack of planning and just um, being wishy-washy with dates. Um, so in that we're talking about having a set date as to when you are back in the office and let your customers know, start promoting that now. I'm going to be teaching, I'm going to be available for classes, I'm already booking in classes from this date in January. I've only got limited amount of dates because we're heading away. Make it sound exclusive, don't be free and easy with your dates. Um, and have a bit of a goal for yourself as well. So when I said planning is key, the first start to making a plan is having a goal. Setting a goal. So how many classes would you like to do? How many people would you like to enrol and really help kickstart 2019 in the best way possible? Who would you like those people to be? Who would you like to partner with? Whether that's a new business partner that you want to launch or perhaps it's somebody that you want to um, collaborate with and, and host a class and she can bring some people together and you teach the class. Who do you want those people to be? Have a plan, map it out, be really clear. And then the next tip is to book January before January. <laughs> Don't leave it until after New Year's and just go, right, now, I've got to get some classes booked in because it's going to be really tricky. So you can actually start booking for Jan now. Disclaimer, please hear this. If you have available dates in December that you could possibly teach for, don't be promoting January just yet. Always offer your first available date that you've got. Don't make the decision for people. Um, one of my Januarys that, uh, actually it was December, in my head, <laughs> in my head I remember being at this class and I'm just like, in my head I'm just like, she's not going to book in December. Like I'm feeling really busy right now and I don't even know if I could squeeze her in. Um, I, I think I'll just book her in for January. But I thought, no, I'll just go through the motions and offer this December class and said, you know, why don't we book a class for December? And she's just like, yep, righto. And we booked it within a week and I rocked up to her house and she said, oh, sorry, I hope you don't mind the mess. There were boxes everywhere. They'd literally just moved into their house the day before. And she booked a party, I think it was like on the 10th of December. <laughs> I'm like, you're crazy. Um, but so I guess what I learned from that is never ever to make the mind up for other people. Always offer your first available dates. And then you've got something to fall back on. If they're just like, oh, December's so hectic. I just can't. I actually don't have a Saturday free until blah, blah, blah. You're just like, girl, don't stress. Let's book you in for Jen. What date, you know, would you like a Thursday or a Thursday night or a Saturday afternoon, these are my time slots that I've got free and book her in. So it's really important to book January before Christmas, really. Um, if you can get those classes booked in uh, before Christmas hits, you're going to set yourself up really, really well for an amazing January. So some ideas to help people commit because one of the things that I've struggled with um, when I've had people booking classes is that, like I said earlier, that they really struggle um, seeing beyond Christmas. So sometimes you'll get people that say, oh, I don't know, and I don't know when we're going away or my friends are going away, let me chat to them, blah, 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 blah. Um, so what you can do is offer something exceptional. So offer them a special incentive, a special gift from you to pre-book their January class before Christmas Eve. So just say to her, hey, Sally, you know, it's awesome. How about, you know, this is a special promotion that I'm, I'm offering my beautiful January hosts. Anyone who books their class for January and books it in before Christmas Eve, I'm gifting them and it can be whatever you like. So it can be, you know, a, a wooden box. You know, these are so, so popular. 
It could be a mood management kit. It could be anything. So to make it cost effective for you, come up with some parameters around it. So it, to, to qualify, to receive the beautiful host gift, you need to have a minimum of three people there and at least one person, three people who haven't got an account and at least, at least one person that places a 100 point order. And then at, at least that way, you know that you're covering costs, but you've managed to book a class in and you've got in front of a few extra people. Has anyone ever done something like that before? Uh, this is like, I'm kind of fairly new to doTERRA. <laughs> that sounds fun. Um, but like, seriously, I felt like last January, um, I was just so, so new. Um, so I, I don't really know how you guys do it a lot. So Annie said, yes, you've done something like this. Awesome. So the key thing is about giving this amazing, uh, offering an amazing gift to somebody who pre books their class. Be really strict with that. Don't be wishy washy with that either. Be hard asked about it. Um, and the other tip is book more than what you want to actually hold. So January, yeah, Heather, that's hilarious. Heather's just commented what I just said, book twice as many. Yeah, I was just gonna say, statistically across the industry, um, January classes have a 50% hold rate. So 50% of the classes that you book in will either cancel or postpone. Now, if you're lucky, they'll postpone into January still. But I've had classes postponed from January into February into March into April and then cancel. <laughs> Yay. Um, uh, yes. So, uh, Heather, so Heather and I used to work together. And um, what we used to do is book more than we wanted to do. So that if you did, like I used to double book myself, I would literally have two classes on a Saturday afternoon. And so you're not necessarily doing a, a shite ton of classes, but if for it's the gods shine down on you and you've got two hosts that are just like, yes, we're all a goer, then you can just say, awesome, I'm gonna send one of my best girls in my team to do your class for you. And it's going to be amazing. She's so incredible. You're going to love her. And so if you've got um, builders in your team, this is a really, really good tool to use because you're booking for your team. So you're out there and your team is um, doing classes. It's just amazing. Obviously, be strategic about that. If they're, they've got to be in the right legs, if you've got <laughs> legs. So um, have a think about that. Um, awesome. So 50% hold rate. So don't ever be scared of overbooking classes um, because you don't. <laughs> Heather, oh my goodness. Heather's just like, bloody hell, I should just get her to do the call. That's so funny. We're so in sync right now. Uh, don't ever be scared. What's Heather doing? Don't be scared of getting too busy. Someone will do it for you. That's exactly right, H. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, so bottom line, overbook your glasses, pre-book them in so that you are going to have an absolute ripper of a January. Um, and I guess the thing is that January is so such an amazing time of year. As I said before, it really kicks start the year off when people are focusing on health and wellness. Um, I want to bring it back to what we were talking about before. I'm just going to have a sip of water. <laughs> you guys, I can't look at the chat. You guys are distracting. Um, <coughs> so we talked before about that guilt that can come up uh, when, you know, as a mum or, you know, you don't even have to have kids. It could be spending time with your partner. It could be just doing stuff that you want to do. Go to festivals, just hang out at the beach and do nothing. It could be your annual leave. Um, so I want to challenge you on that. 
because sometimes we think that if I'm working, as in I'm doing doTERRA, that I'm missing out. But the reality is for lots of people that do doTERRA, they do it because it has flexibility. So, and lots of you, like I've got girls in my team who do this because they didn't want to do nine to five work because they were missing out on their kids. So when you are doing doTERRA, when you are teaching classes, let's be honest, guys, it's not nine to five. When you've got a class in one day, that's not eight hours of your day. It's like two, three hours at the most. And when I do classes in summer, most of mine are at night. So we hang out at the beach all day. We just, you know, bum around under the sprinkler at home just do family fun stuff. And then when my kids are in bed, I go off and teach a class. So, and those classes are pretty fun. So when you're talking about um, <clears throat> um, with your people that you're reaching out to about booking classes, paint the picture. Have you already said this H? Paint the picture of the class. No, you're not going to jump in with that. <laughs> One step ahead of you. Um, so paint the picture of the class, what those classes look like in gen. So for me, I'm just like, right, yes, yes, yes. After Christmas is done and dusted, why don't we bring the girls together? We can sit out under the deck with some wines, a cheese board, you know, it'll be nice balmy evenings. It's going to be so much fun, really chill, really relaxed. Um, I've done lots of classes like that out on the decks in summer. I've even done classes at camping grounds because people have said to me, ah, oh, sorry, me and my friends, we always go away camping together. Maybe we could do it after we get back in at the end of January. And I'm just like, or oh, you're like an hour away from me. Why don't I just come to you guys and we'll do like a class under the tent annex. I've done those classes in the caravan park as well. Awesome. All right. So, um, so paint the picture of what those classes look like. Make it sound really amazing because it is really amazing. I love January. Um, so when we are talking about, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place here. So when we are talking about, you know, lots of people do this because they don't want to do nine to five. So they do doTERRA but then they think that they can't be working during the holidays because they don't want to be working. But it's just a small fraction of your time that you're spending on your business and investing in your business. And the, the fact of the matter is you are spending time with your family. So have conversations with your partner, with your kids, and just say, hey, January is going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to go to the beach on Sunday. And then Sunday night, I've actually got a class. So they know that you're not working all the time. It's just, just, you know, you get to do the fun stuff still. They don't have, they don't miss out on anything. Um, the other thing about January is it kickstarts your year. So a strong start to the year built, creates that momentum that flows down throughout the rest of the year. Um, so I think we've all experienced at some point that stop start. And if we take it back to, you know, if, if you haven't had a, you know, stop start moment or periods in your business, you will at some stage, that's just the truth and of it all. Um, but we can all relate to how we started because we had all done it for the first time. It takes a lot of energy to invest into something to get that momentum happening. So for me, I always approach January as a real investment into keeping that momentum going, keeping that flow going. And mentoring a team in both doTERRA and another company as well, I learnt from my first January that when I didn't have as many classes as I thought I would or should or wanted to, and just went, ah, oh, she'll be right, that's all good, class cancelled, that's all good, I'll just hang out with the fam. And it was a really gruelling three months, four months even, to be honest, to get that momentum and flow back in my business. And I learnt from that the hard way, never again. 
I learned from that January is so, so important to have a just a really ripper start. Um, and the girls that, that I've mentored in the past, you know, you only do that once, I think. You only sort of stop for, like I've had girls in my team who have not worked, not even logged into their back office for six, eight weeks. <laughs> uh, they only do that once because it is, it takes so much energy and, and emotional investment to get it happening again. Um, and the other thing in conjunction with that is what we do now affects our business in three months time. So the action that we take right now will affect our business in three months time. So you want to make sure that you really have that, that solid foundation that you, if, well, I guess it's a choice, you know, it is bottom line. It's a choice. If you do choose to close the shop front for six weeks, expect that in three months time that things are going to be pretty hard. Expect that it's going to be a hard slog to get that momentum up again, to get that consistency back. It's a bad choice. And when I looked at it for the sake of six weeks of just bludging and doing nothing versus the investment in time and energy and, and emotional energy, to get it back again. I'm just like, it's not worth it. Plus, I, I love January's when I was actually out there doing them. They were just the best. Plus, again, another plus, plus, plus. They are, January is like the biggest retail time of the year. There's such a story and a misconception that everyone's struggling after Christmas and no one has any money. But the stats on retail sales in January are phenomenal. It, it is the one of the highest retail months of the year. So why wouldn't you want to be out there working, especially when we're in the pocket for health and wellness and, and we've got this answer to, to things that people are asking and people are wanting and seeking, actively seeking come January 1 especially. Um, okay. I think that's all I wanted to say. I just my last note on the paper was I love January. So we'll finish with that. But I'd really love for you guys to share in the chat box um, what are three action steps that you can do in the next 48 hours to plan and make sure that January is going to be an absolute cracker for you. So I'll give you a moment right now just to type in the chat box three action steps start thinking about new year's resolutions for advertising absolutely absolutely that's so good Um, setting up my kitchen table today to have my living space ready to go for another impromptu class. Awesome. The other thing you can do too, um, if you're going away, say you're going to Wagga Wagga to catch up with Auntie Claire, um, take your oils with you and just say, hey, while I'm here, do you want to grab some girlfriends together and I can show you guys what I'm doing and how these can benefit you? So. You know, like it's this simple, guys. Put it in your bag, put it in, <laughs> in your car and take it with you. Um, contacting everyone for booking a class, awesome. So good. Plan online classes. I think planning is so key. That's gonna be your make or break of January and your make or break of having an awesome cracker of a start to 2019. So do set some time aside, like in the next 48 hours to have a look at January and look at how you want to and where you want to and who you want to do classes for and with. Awesome. All right, does anyone have any questions before we wrap up the call?
No. You're all good. Heather says I rock. It's pretty nice of her. No, you're all awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. And yeah, if you've got any other ideas or any success, it'd be great to, for you guys to share them in the Freedom Tribe group. Um, I think that's really beautiful when we can all come together and just share this success, share our ideas of what we're having to have a really amazing January um, and think creatively about how we can not, not do our business, but how we can work our business creatively um, and still have that beautiful kickoff to the year. So thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Bye-bye now.